Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram taking a look at this 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is the Overland trim. It has a 3.6 liter V6 and an eight speed automatic transmission. Starting off up front, you do have LED headlights as well as your daytime running LED accent lighting, LED fog lights, chrome trim, front facing uh, camera, I believe this is your lane keep assist or adaptive cruise control sensor. Chrome tow recovery hooks that are vertical. I actually prefer the vertical over the horizontal. I think they look a lot cooler. Parking sensors are gonna be integrated into the middle portion of the bumper. At your chrome Jeep badging right here. Color matched fender flares. Coming down to the wheel and tire setup, it looks like we have some Bridgestone uh, Acopia HLs and the tire size is a 265.50 R20. Really nice machined and gray 20 inch wheel. Grand Cherokee badging right here with old glory facing forward. Black mirror caps with chrome trim that continues throughout the body lines. Mirror mounted camera right here. Color matched and chrome door handles. This does have the uh, passive entry system on it, so as long as you have the key fob on you, you can lock and unlock the vehicle, any of the four doors. Coming around to the tail lights, they are LED with a blind spot monitor located somewhere right in there. Dual exhaust, trailer hitch is gonna be underneath that plastic cover. Parking sensors integrated into the upper portion of the bumper. You've got your Overland badge right there on the passenger side and your four x four badge on the driver's side. Rear view camera is right here. Jeep logo. Third brake light, very seamlessly integrated up there. Coming around to the driver's side, we have your capless fuel fill port. Again, very beautiful looking SUV. This is definitely a unique color. Uh, I think FCA Stellantis has a, does a really good job offering pretty unique colors for their vehicles. With that being said, let's take a closer look at the interior. All right, starting off over here on the driver's side door, I do wanna point out the really nice soft touch leather and real wood trim throughout this vehicle. Um, actually, you know what? I don't think this is real wood. It looks like real wood, uh, but it, it feels more like plastic. I think you have to go one trim level higher to get the, the real wood. All the windows are automatic up and down. Lock and unlock buttons. Your mirror controls as well as your power folding mirror button two seat memory, massaging seat button. Coming over here, we've got the rotary dial selector for the exterior lighting of the vehicle, dimmer switch for the uh, interior light, and then the dimmer switch for the instrument cluster. Electronic parking brake is gonna be below that. Coming up top to the dash, we've got the premium Macintosh audio group right here. Right here we have a heads up display. I don't know how well it's gonna come through on camera. You can see the little zero right there. That'll focus for you, sorry about that. Really nice soft touch leather on 85 to 90% of the dash. Coming down to the instrument cluster, it is fully digital, which is very nice. Steering wheel, soft leather, mild bolsters at 10 and two with paddle shifters. Left side of the steering wheel has the control pad for the uh, center LCD display. To the right of that, you have the steering wheel mounted uh, call buttons. And then in the middle, you have the controller to toggle between which page you want to view. Pretty sweet. On the right side of the steering wheel, we have the adaptive cruise control buttons as well as your lane keep assist button. Really nice, again, wood looking trim throughout the steering wheel. Up top, underneath the sleek uh, air conditioning vents, we got your automatic start stop. It is on by default. Uh, lane keep assist button, traction control off, hazard lights, parking sensors off, and then passenger screen on off button. We'll go over that a little bit more in detail shortly. Coming down to the touchscreen display, we have the new Uconnect 5 system. It is very responsive. You can add your widgets or your cards, whatever you wanna call them. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto uh, wirelessly. You can control the air conditioning from the touchscreen as well as your heated ventilated seats and for the driver, the heated steering wheel. This guy does have navigation included. 
your phone if you want to do wireless CarPlay, vehicle info including your Jeep pages, or not your Jeep pages, but this will control a uh, bunch of different things including your touchscreen uh, controls for the uh, cameras. Your apps will be where your off-road Jeep pages are, which is pretty cool. You can see if your front, lo uh, front locker is locked. Accessory gauge, all your temperatures, your pitch and roll of the vehicle, your terrain selection, which is pretty cool. It does have your coordinates as well as your altitude. Below that, we have the dual zone climate control with physical buttons for your heated ventilated seats as well as your heated steering wheel. Physical audio controls. Really nice gloss black throughout. Push on this silver button. Gives us access to a US, two USBs, two USB type C's, auxiliary jack, HDMI port for the passenger as well as a 12 volt outlet. And you also have a wireless charging mat right here. Coming back to this side, we have the different drive mode selection for the vehicle. When you select the dr different drive modes, it actually changes on the uh, instrument cluster and on the touchscreen display, which is pretty sweet. <laughs> Rotary dial selector uh, for the shifter. This vehicle does have air suspension, so it does have the selection right there. The uppermost uh, air suspension setting is off-road max. Right now we are in sport mode, and then one below sport mode is aerodynamic um, entry exit mode. Four wheel low button right here. Hill descent control, right here you push up on this giving us access to some LED ambient lit cup holders. Center armrest has storage in it, it is tiered and it is felt lined. Overland is stamped into the leather seats for the driver and passenger, very very pretty. Glove box is going to be right here. We have your passenger screen right here. I'm hoping this will come through for you guys. I'll see if I can turn up the brightness real quick. But you can control uh, different things through here. The audio, the video, HDMI. So if you have a PlayStation or Xbox, you can plug it in there and play it. Got your controls and then we have your notifications. Pretty sweet. Up top, the uh, vanity is LED lit for the passenger as well as your driver. The driver vanity does include a three door universal garage remote. Your master controls for the dome map lights, trunk release button, and then all the buttons for the twin pane sunroof, including the shade, which I am now closing because it is very hot out today. In front of that, you have some glasses storage, and then your auto dimming rear view mirror. Overall, I really do like the interior of these Jeep Grand Cherokees. They are very, uh, very nice, very sleek, very user friendly, very comfortable as well. Let's take a closer look at the back seats and see how much legroom we have. All right, sitting in the back seat, I'd say I have about four to five inches of legroom before my knees hit the front seat, which is nice. Storage in the form of pouches behind both driver and passenger seats. Your rear. Uh, climate control is going to be right here. You also have heated seats back here. Under that you have a 115 volt, 150 watt power outlet as well as two USBs, two USB type C's. Your air conditioning vents for the middle as well as your B pillar mounted air conditioning vents. Automatic uh, window up and down. Macintosh premium audio. Privacy slash sun screen for the rear passengers. Because this has the twin pane sunroof, your grab handles and dome map lights are going to be on the outermost portion of the headliner. Very, very comfortable leather seats in here. This center seat does have a fold down armrest slash cup holder. And as you can see, these seats do slightly recline. So you can increase your headroom if you need to with the twin pane sunroof. Overall, very comfortable back here. Um, the leather is just so soft in these vehicles. Let's take a closer look at the trunk and see how much cargo space we have. So there's a couple ways to open the trunk on this vehicle. The first way is with the key fob. Second way is with the button by the dome map light master control. And then the third way is to come up to the right of the P and Jeep. Push the button right there. It'll beep and then it'll automatically open for you. Tons of load flat storage. Little storage compartment right here on the driver's side. 
full size spare with storage compartments on both sides of the tire. Macintosh premium audio subwoofer. Grocery hanger on the passenger side as well as the driver side. Driver side does have a 12 volt outlet. You have four of these little tie down points. So if you've got a bungee cord something back here, you can. Two on each side. Tons and tons of storage back here. You can actually set the height of how tall the lift gate will open. When you're done doing your business back here, you push the button, it'll beep at you a couple times, and then it will automatically close for you. I believe there is a button right here to the left of J and Jeep. If you have the key fob in your pocket, I believe that will actually lock or unlock the vehicle. I'm not 100% sure though. Overall, tons of storage. Very, very cool. So here's a window sticker for this vehicle. There is some tint on it, so I'll go over the key features. Again, this is a 2022 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4x4 with a base price of $56,240. Standard equipment's gonna be right here. Optional equipment starts here. Most notably, you have the customer preferred package 22N, which includes the Luxury Tech Group 4B for $1,895. Advanced Pro Tech Group 3 for $2,235, as well as some miscellaneous packages for a total price of $65,590. Fuel economy rating is gonna be right here. This vehicle is rated at 19 miles per gallon city, 26 miles per gallon highway for a combined fuel economy rating of 22 miles per gallon. I'd like to give Pinckney Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram a huge thank you and shout out for allowing me to come to their lot and do a video walkthrough of this vehicle. If you're interested in this vehicle or any of the Stellantis FCA lineup, I will be posting all the contact info in the description below. Be sure to let Andrew know you saw the YouTube video and he'll be more than happy to go over all the discounts, rebates, and incentives you qualify for. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving me a like and share. And if you want to keep up to date on more vehicle walkthroughs, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and be sure to check out the video description below for all the affiliate links. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.